Or something cool? Ready for this? That wasn't cool. Do it in slow mo and it's cool. Do that in slow mo. Today we are on our way to Las Vegas. And what is Vegas known for? Buffets. So we are gonna go to three drastically different buffets at three drastically different price points to find out which one is most worth it at its price. So last time you went to Vegas, you were in different company. Keith and Steven, best buddies for life. I have matured a lot now. I'm not gonna just be screaming out Vegas, baby. It'll be my first time ever. What? Should I scream out Vegas, baby? Usually when people are in Vegas, they're intoxicated. And when they're intoxicated, they just wanna eat a lot of food. We're gonna find out how good the food is unintoxicated. I mean, if there's a drinks buffet, maybe we'll partake a little. We have to have the full experience. We got to do our jobs here. Okay, so Vegas. You Baby. Said you said we're Vegas? Baby. I know you like to have uh, an occasional drink. I like to have a good time. Adam is a good time. And that's Vegas. Baby. It's not about the destination, yada, yada. <laughs> My name is Timothy Radigan, and I'm the executive chef for the Feast Buffet here at Red Rock. We do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Today we have breakfast out. We do omelets, we do scrambled eggs, we carve bone in ham. Our dessert station is open. We have breakfast pastries. I mean, we have 154 items available for breakfast. Almost everything here is made from scratch, which you rarely find at a buffet. Feast Buffet's always been behind supporting locals. We try and keep things changing just so there's variety for people that come a few times a week. How do you keep all the food fresh? With the sheer numbers that we do, it's fantastic because the food goes. So how much is the breakfast buffet here? Breakfast is $6.99 for club members and it's $8.99 without the card. What? That is crazy. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going, Andrew. I'm going. Get a plate. Usually we share a dish. Yeah, but now we're at a buffet. Yeah. And buffet is not about sharing. Because I was in charge of making my plate, I kind of threw balance out the window. Got an eggs benny, jelly donut, jello. It's about variety of experience. I want as many different textures happening on my plate as possible. Not only did you get an eggs benedict, but you also got an omelet that's half the size of your plate. What's I with like, that? I like eggs. You gotta stay loose. What just came out? Yeah. What's looking good? So I got the ham. I forgot about the I forgot about the carved ham. Oh, f you got the hash brown. I f I'm gonna be having some of your hash brown. Get off my hash brown. Can we cheers plates? Yeah, we can cheers plates. All right, red you, velvet pancake. You can't even see your red velvet pancake. It's in there. It's covered by a waffle. No, 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 it's topped with a waffle. I'm gonna go for my French toast since that's the closest thing I have to a red velvet pancake. Here we go. Whoa. It's so fluffy! That was delicious. That's probably the best thing that they have here. Start with a little eggy action. Oh yeah, I'll eat eggs with you. These are actually mm. very good scrambled eggs. Nass produced scrambled eggs are usually among the worst foods, but these are great. This is not powder egg. No, they're cracking eggs back there. I saw a big old bowl of eggs. Look at how thick that ham steak is. She just like gave me a nice- Yeah, she carved you off a hunk. My college roommate really loved ham steaks. Seeing that ham makes mm. me think of him. It's good ham. You want some omelet? I'm good. I'm gonna enjoy watching you. It's fluffy. Boom. We feasted. You know what I like about buffets? Reminds me of weird family memories. I don't go to buffet alone usually. Oh, I have been actually. <laughs> hey, Adam. Guys, I'm like drunk on buffets and it's only the first buffet. I paced myself. That's your problem. You went in too hard. They were really moving food there. Nothing was really sitting around unless it's meant to sit around like jello. You know what time it is. Buffet fact. NASA says that the brightest spot on earth that you can see from space is the Las Vegas Strip. Wow. How many of those lights are buffets? Ooh, a helicopter. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, we're actually now on the strip. This is where the tourists are, where the magic happens. So where are we going to next? Well, first we're going to the bathroom. So I'm going to go take care of some business and unpack my body. I hate you. So the next place we're going is the Wicked Spoon. The spoon is my favorite utensil. Hey, I'm Rory, Chef de Cuisine at Wicked Spoon. We're here at the restaurant now. It's dinner time. Wicked Spoon, what does that mean? So it's us taking a kind of a different angle. It's something outside the box, like we have the frog legs and bone marrow. Certain things that you won't see on like the normal buffet, just being wicked with it. I noticed like the size of the plate is different than the normal buffet, like. That's the spoon part. So everything's cooked to order, basically. So we set these up and the little individual dishes is already plated for you, which makes it cleaner. It helps you not overeat and us to alleviate the weight. 
face as well. I mean, you're not gonna be able to stop him from overeating, never uh, stop eating. Let's not forget who almost wrecked themselves at brunch today. What's the thing you're most excited to try? Because we got a lot to cover here. First, it was a pork belly, but for me, it's the bourbon glazed baby carrots. Never been excited to eat carrots in my life. What about you? Frog leg, grits, whole crawfish, bone marrow. Anything goes here at the Wicked Spoon. All right, so first things first, I'm the realist. We were recommended to get Wicked Margarita. Wicked means good in this context for those yes. who are not up with the times like this kid right here. He's born in 1990. Such a baby. When were you born? 1990. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is too easy to drink. Watch out now, Steven. Did you see the duck heads? They're not bringing duck meat in this place. They're bringing ducks. Mmm, that pork belly. So rich Get and up. fatty and delicious. Oh my god. No, that pork belly was better than whatever you just put in your mouth. You want a wager? That actually is way better than the pork belly I just ate. Boom! Touchdown. I've actually never had a frog leg before. What's a high five called if you use your foot? Frog foot five. Mm. Technically, we just knocked the thighs together. I've had a lot of frog leg in my life. Have you? It's a very classic Chinese dish, but I've never had buffalo frog leg. That's good buffalo sauce. It's actually got a nice heat to it. Wow, you just... Where did that bone come out of your mouth? You were like storing it back there like a squirrel getting ready for winter. <laughs> What is the appropriate way to eat this? Bone marrow? Yeah. If you want to like suck on the bone, I know you're... <laughs> bone sucker. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> you f***ed up. I got a fortune cookie. Your health is important. Eat your vegetables. Baby carrots. Mm. Bourbon plays. Yeah, they use Maker's Mark. It is not cheap whiskey, and it's not a whiskey that you'd expect someone to cook with. It wasn't overcooked, so you got that crunch there. Right. Not only is that a nice glaze, the carrot flavor is not missing. What is it? That's carrot cake. I've had a carrot cake every birthday of my life. Very good carrot cake. Oh, boy. For the amount and range of stuff you get here. There's the crab, there's duck. The pork belly, the prime rib. No, this is every episode, but for real, this is the place I'm gonna bring my girlfriend. Yeah, this is the it's really hard to beat this. That was the perfect buffet. Really? The food was super unique. The chef was awesome. There were things that I'd never had before, and I didn't expect to try new food at a buffet. I gotta say, I was wowed. You know, the colon O face? Not like the colon of your body. I was gonna say colon D face, but that's... Neither is good. <laughs> buffet bag. There was a study done. So one group had $4 buffet, and the other group had $8 buffet. And the people who paid $8 actually said that the pizza tastes better than the people who paid $4, even though it was the exact same. So you're saying lying works. If Vegas has taught me anything, it's that blowing money can be pleasurable in itself. Hey, if a buffet tastes better because I'm splurging a little more money on it, that's just a better buffet. Sorry. We woke up this morning at 8.30 to go to one of the most classic buffets in Las Vegas. We're going to the Sterling Brunch, which is only on Sundays. It's a pretty special thing. I'm ready. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Braden Watkins. I am the assistant executive chef of Bally's Paris and Planet Hollywood. We're here at Sterling Brunch at Bally's. This brunch is actually a Vegas tradition. It's over 30 years old. So has this always been the premier Vegas brunch? It has. I think people have an expectation of what Sterling Brunch is supposed to be. That's why you have the champagne and the caviar and lobster. So right here is our fresh seafood station. We have the Blue Point oysters and crab claws. There is a Sterling Brunch specialty omelet that Webster is famous for. It's lobster, boars, and Cognac. This is our carving station. We have the bacon, prime rib, and lamb. That's a staple. We have a variety of pastries that are made by our in-house pastry chef. I personally always love chocolate covered strawberries. How often is this brunch open? It's open every Sunday. Being that it's one day a week, it makes it very easy for us to make sure that we're bringing the quality in as fresh as possible. How much is the brunch? It's $95. Wow. And that's the all you can have champagne included. So it's definitely oh, worth wow. it. Now it feels like we're in Vegas. Even the regular buffet food elevated because everything here looks so good we didn't make our own plates we just got the best stuff and we're gonna share it all in true worth it form Ooh. hello good morning good morning welcome to the sterling brunch champagne wishes and caviar dreams i'm duff I've been here for 18 years. Started in 1998. You got any good brunch stories? Favorite person you've ever waited on? Uh, Rodney Dangerfield. That's how he was in real life. He would just yeah. come in and was like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for your service. You want to do some of this? Oh, 
I love champagne. And the sound of popping champagne. Boom! Here comes the buffet. Look at this popover. It kind of looks like an ice cream cone made of puff pastry. Oh. oh. Whoa. This is amazing. I mean, this doesn't need butter. I feel filthy eating these. Let's right. go to this egg. Lobster cognac borzon omelet. Mm. It's one of the stinkier cheeses, but with the butteriness of the lobster, yeah. really nice. You want to caviar this omelet and make it even crazier? Honestly, not really. It's actually really good. Like yeah. the combination of. All right, all right, shut up. Like... Ooh, all of a sudden there's like this sea breeze washing over the cheese. It's like a puzzle. It is a puzzle for your mouth to solve. Can I ask you another question? What was Mr. Dangerfield's favorite thing to eat? He, he was right at those lobster tails. Well, I mean, you gotta do the lobster tails. Is that your favorite thing so far? It really is perfectly cooked and so, so good. Dessert time? So she recommended chocolate covered strawberry. strawberries. Can I get the white chocolate one? White chocolate is for children. <laughs> the strawberry is nice and tart. The chocolate, dark and sweet. The perfect strawberry. Yesterday you said you're gonna bring your girlfriend to Wicked Spoon. Yeah. This is where I'm bringing my girlfriend. Come on. We're in the desert in Nevada and I'm eating lobster from the bottom of the ocean. And there's no way it's from yesterday's brunch because they only have it once a week. Sterling brunch. Done? Done. Guys, I'm intoxicated by the sheer volume of food that we have consumed on this trip. I'm more food drunk than any other kind of drunk. That's exactly what I just said. I said it better. So, Andrew, Adam, what do you guys think? What was the best buffet at its given price point? Red Rock was a ridiculous value. I don't know that I've ever eaten more food for less cost. That being said, that Sterling brunch was ridiculous. Duff in his tuxedo and his eye patch with his stories of Rodney Dangerfield, like that's worth the price alone. My worth it winner, Sterling brunch. I guess I'm a high roller now. There's just a oh puppy my strolling gosh. down the street. Yo, pull the f over, I'm petting this puppy. He's growling at me. We didn't want to play. Red Rock, it was under $10, and it was all of the classics that you wanted done well. My worth of winner today goes to the Wicked Spoon. Everything was like a good dish plus something special. I would have liked vegetables growing up as a kid if I eat, ate his carrots. Yeah, all kids should be eating whiskey carrots. Adam. What's up? Big winner? Uh, Sterling. Whoa. You know what I'd like to do an episode on? Little birds, pheasant, quail. To eat or as pets? To eat. Oh yes!